there was a discussion on the role of daratumumab in the management of light chain amyloidosis. The Andromeda study, which is a comparative study of daratumumab, cyclophosphamide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone, compared to cyclophosphamide, bortezomib, dexamethasone, was updated. This trial continues to demonstrate that the hematologic very good part Partial response rate is nearly three times higher in daratumumab containing regimens than in non-daratumumab containing regimens. Too early to read out survival data. But the panel discussed the role of daratumumab, and it was not uniform. There were a number of investigators who felt daratumumab should be incorporated into first-line therapy. There were others who felt that in the absence of survival data and the ability to use daratumumab as second line therapy if response depth was inadequate made them reluctant to recommend daratumumab as initial therapy. So this remains actually a open question. There was also a discussion about the role of cyclophosphamide in the daratumumab bortezomib regimen and how much it adds. And again, the panel was not uniform. There were those that felt that cyclophosphamide added very little to bortezomib and daratumumab and therefore could safely be omitted if it was felt to be excessively toxic but there were others that pointed to a substantial body of data on the value of alkylating agent chemotherapy and its ability to produce hematologic responses and felt strongly that cyclophosphamide or alternatively melphalan as an alkylator needs to be kept in place for initial therapy of newly diagnosed amyloidosis. There was some discussion about the utilization of bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone in the initial therapy of patients with AL amyloidosis. Another controversial area because in patients that have cardiac amyloid, which is nearly 70% of the population, the use of immunomodulatory drugs such as lenalidomide can aggravate symptomatic congestive heart failure, raise the NT pro BNP, and may not be safe options for all patients. However, the Greek amyloid study group did report outcomes with bortezomib, lenalidomide, dexamethasone for newly diagnosed amyloid and found a high level of efficacy. Investigators on the panel pointed out that in myeloma, there have been trials that have demonstrated that the use of bortezomib thalidomide dexamethasone was superior to bortezomib cyclophosphamide dexamethasone, arguing that earlier use of an immunomodulatory drug may be beneficial for patients with light chain amyloidosis. There was an ongoing trial of isotuximab phase two for the treatment of AL amyloidosis. And it was pointed out that isotuximab does have clear cut activity in terms of its anti-plasma cell potential and ability to reduce the precursor toxic light chains in patients with AL amyloidosis. There was an update on a trial looking at exazomib combined with other agents, cyclophosphamide dexamethasone, in the management of patients with AL amyloidosis. And although this trial did not uh, meet its primary endpoint, it actually demonstrated highly significant benefit in terms of the fraction of patients that achieved a very good partial response or better, as well as delaying uh, organ relapse and delaying the um, time to next therapy. And so there was much discussion about the value of oral exazomib in the treatment of newly diagnosed AL amyloidosis. And this data is still maturing and has not been published in manuscript form, but showed some encouraging results. 